Now let's come back and learn. We have already uh, electrophoresis concept. We have already learned the concept of charge in colloidal particles. How do the colloidal particles attain charge? We have seen. Then I've also taught you the positively charged colloidal particles and negatively charged colloidal particles. Then gradually I took into a concept of electrical double layer, that is Helmholtz double layer, where you have a charge existing between the fixed layer and your diffused layer. Done. After that, we'll come back to one more concept. It's the same concept basically coming under charge of a colloidal particle, that is electrical electrophoresis so when we speak about electrophoresis they'll directly ask you explain the concept of electrophoresis electro means applied emf applied electric field forces means mobility let us write that electro means applied field that is your electrical field applied electrical field forces means mobility okay from that i'll write a definition suppose if i am going to show you this in a huge tube u-shaped tube where we have taken a colloidal solution in colloidal solution you have both the dispersed phase dispersed phase that is your dis, uh, dis particles as well as dispersed medium that is your water or any any medium so two things isn't it colloidal solution has dispersed particles or the dispersed phase as well as dispersed medium now you are connecting both ends of the u-tube to the electrodes one electrode would be the anode which is negative and the other would be the cathode which is positive in nature now once you fill the colloidal solution we we've already seen colloidal solution have attained charge positively charged and negatively charged so let's come back and define so electrophoresis concept if i say just write movement of the same thing i'm writing in words movement of colloidal particles so colloidal particles are nothing but dispersed phase isn't it yes to the electrodes under an applied emf or under an applied electrical field okay simple words this to the electrodes under applied electrical field applied electrical field or you can also write emf applied emf also okay i'll write that also applied emf okay done so now what what actually is this simple suppose if i have to see in the moment positively charged will go to cathode and negatively charged will go to anode simple isn't it so positively charged dispersed particles or the dispersed phase particles positively charged particles move towards cathode yes cation cathode then negatively charged that is your anion part particles move towards anode simple cation to cathode anion to anode done now so this movement uh, is called electrophoresis and now what is the use of this electrophoresis when i have to write the applications of electrophoresis so what is this explaining yes electrophoresis concept is explaining me about the charge or the, the the presence of charge on colloidal particles is it not showing because one is moving in this direction other is moving in this direction so this concept is used to explain the nature of or nature of charge on colloidal particles okay done once this nature is explained what else can i explain i said once a double a positive charge is formed the counter ion comes and attacks means there's a formation of double layer isn't it in the previous video so electrophoresis also explains the concept of or explains the nature of electrokinetic potential or zeta potential please watch the earlier video you will understand what am i trying to explain it explains nature of electrokinetic potential or zeta potential it is also going to explain me the concept of zeta potential what is zeta potential we have already studied it is a potential difference between the fixed layer and the diffused layer please watch the diagram which i have shown so it's also going to explain the nature of electrokinetic next important thing it will me explain me the concept of coagulation i'll teach you what is coagulation in in a short time so you can just try it it explains me the concept of coagulation so simple experiment nothing no logic in the nothing big logic to remember cation to cathode and uh, uh, anion to anode 
and this moment under the applied electric field is called uh, electrophoresis or uh, this phoresis I've already written in the exam if you don't remember anything at least write this word you will get mark for that 